Hey, what's up everybody on YouTube? My name is Spike Man. Welcome back. Alright, so we got some new news and events going on with the uh, Coleman CT100U Sport and the uh, Predator 212. Got some new parts coming on the way. Stick around, we'll explain. Alrighty, as you can see, I've got the uh, valve cover taken off for the stock Coleman CT100U Sport because I got it all wrapped out with the uh, upgrades and whatnot. Alright, so as you can see, I'm trying to get you guys the best view here possible. But we got the... We have the valve lash springs in here. These are the easy to remove valves. All you have to do is push the spring down and slide the clip out. And these are already pre-adjusted to their correct valve lash setting. I have not tampered with this. All I did was pull off the valve cover. So you guys are seeing the inside of a stock Coleman CT100U 3 horsepower valve spring adjustment first hand. So these are non tampered with. These are still at the uh, stock setting. Now I have the Predator 212 over here. And I've also pulled the valve cover off. And uh, if anybody darn camera focus there we go alright and if anybody can notice you notice these are not the slide out clips on the 212 I actually got some quality product here they gave me the little clippy doodads I'm not sure what they're called but some, I'm sure somebody will comment on that I have the quality springs and clips holding these uh, valve springs in place. And I noticed that these springs and diameter size settings are the same in the stock Coleman CT100U Sport. Yeah, they look exactly the same. That's really boggling my mind right now because that means I can actually go online and buy the 18 pound valve springs for the stock three horse while upgrading. I've already got in the mail the 26 pounds for this one. And this one's also got the chromoly push rods coming for it. That'll be those things down there. Going down these holes. And I also got the uh, 265 lifted cam coming for it. And I've already got the uh, Makuni style carburetor for it. This is gonna be epic. Because just like I told you all, I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison to both of these engines. And they do have, in fact, the same diameter valve springs, so that just means... Oh, also, it means good things to come, but... Something I noticed earlier that just like boggled my mind is one of these valve springs feels heavier. I'm not sure why. It feels like this one over here, the exhaust side is heavier. I don't know if the factory was Yeah, that one that one feels way easier for some reason. This one feels way heavier. I mean, do the springs look the same? 
I mean, it's hard to tell. Does one look beefier than the other? They look the same. But one feels a little stronger. I don't know why. And I happen to notice that these both have lash caps. Yeah, they both got lash caps. Oh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Oh, shit. Ha! Well, looks like I got a little dilemma on my hands. That was not supposed to slide off of there like that. Wonder if I can slide it back on somehow. Alright, I'm going to have to cut this video short, so I will go ahead and do the editing process, and uh, I will be back to you guys. Okay, as you can see, I got the problem fixed. Everything is back together. Go ahead and pull the ripcord so you guys can see the action of the valves. Uh, if you all really want to see something exciting, watch this. That's how your valves work the engine. But as far as the Predator 212 goes, like I said, I'm just waiting on the parts. It's eventually going to have roller rockers. And I will have roller rockers on it. You better believe this sucker's already got some parts on the way that'll make it pull wheelies on this little thing. So, to all my subscribers, these things are happening. I'm sorry I'm taking so long on it, but you cannot expect somebody working at a mediocre job to do everything right away. Things take time. I mean, especially when you want them done right. And I am planning on doing everything justice to this engine. Oh, this thing will be sweet. Then we got this little engine right here. We still got to play with this little engine. I ain't done with this little sucker yet. I want to put the heavier valve springs in there and get this shit done. I really want to make this engine all it can be. So before we even get to the 212... Oh yes, very nuts. We're gonna get crazy with it, folks. Alright, so we're back with the craziness. Let me show you the parts. So we got the 265 lifted cam, the chrome alley push rods, and the 26 pound valve springs that will all be in introduced to this engine right here. And as you can see, I got the dyno cam sticker on it from said ordered purchase. And we're going to be doing some he heavy upgrades to this engine, this 212. Which also has my own sticker on it. If y'all want a sticker for watching this, they're absolutely free. All you have to do is send me your email or your mailing address in the link below and you guys could be rocking one of these spike man dan stickers at www.youtube.com forward slash spike man dan and yeah once again these stickers are absolutely free 
you send me your mailing address, you get a free sticker. Well, I sure do hope you all liked and enjoyed my video. Don't forget to hit the like button and always subscribe. My name is Spike Man Dan. You are watching Spike TV, first network for men. Always come back to Spike TV where everyone gets all their information on these builds. Yours truly, Spike Man Dan, salutes you for watching. I am out for tonight, guys. You all have fun and peace out.